Here we are having a problem regarding PMMC instrument. So first we need to know what is PMMC full form. The full form of PMMC is permanent magnet moving coil. The students generally make a mistake that they used to say permanent moving magnet coil. That is the wrong thing because in this PMMC instrument I have shown here there is a permanent magnet this is the permanent magnet I have shown by reading writing here this portion is the permanent magnet this is the north pole and this is the south pole so there is a permanent magnet so that it is called PMMC permanent magnet moving coil okay I think that thing is clear for you next is in this question there is several data has been given and you have to determine the value of flux density. Now before going into that we need to know how could we determine the flux density. PMMC instrument can be used as a voltmeter, ammeter, this kind of meters. Okay. So if any kind of meters what we really need to know is to rotate the pointer this is the pointer it should rotate then only it can give you a reading on the scale this is the scale if it rotates then only it can give you reading of a particular voltage or current now how could you rotate it you can rotate it by generating a torque because whatever a force in linear system is torque in rotational system so we have to generate a torque in order to get our required voltage or current readings now the question is how could we generate the torque for a PMMC instrument, the torque equation is like BINA or are in multiplication form. Now, B is equal to magnetic flux density, I is equal to current in ampere, N is equal to number of turns of the coil, and A is equal to area of the coil. Now which coil? This is the coil. Okay, this is the coil. As I have given here, this is the coil surrounding a iron core. This iron core is movable and the pointer is stuck or connected with the coil so that whenever there is a rotation of the coil or movement of the coil the pointer along with can move and give us the reading now flux density is the flux density of this permanent magnet that is flux per area i is the current and i means the current that's it, that is passing through this coil that means this particular coil that is shown in green color area is the area of this coil and n is the total number of turns of the coil now this entire system or arrangement is connected in parallel suppose with the source or maybe a particular load so this voltmeter is nothing but a PMMC instrument similarly if we want to determine the value of a current in this particular node then we have to attach a PMMC instrument with this branch so that it can give us the current that is going through this branch 
so in our question as it is used as voltmeter so that it is connected in parallel like this connection or this connection up to clear for this type of instrument the multiplication of all these quantities is reason for generating the torque or movement of the pointer now first we have been asked to determine the flux density so let us write the torque equation that is deflecting torque is equal to bi na because it is deflecting the pointer now there is another torque in this pmmc instrument that is called controlling torque now what is controlling torque whenever this particular instrument is connected to a circuit then it is showing a result suppose it is showing 20 volt as a voltmeter so after showing the reading of 20 volt suppose this is the disposition 20 volt when circuit is turned off that means no current is passing through the circuit then the pointer should come back to its zero position now who will bring this pointer to a zero position it is the controlling torque which take its back or the pointer to its zero position so controlling torque is very important in PMMC instrument and interestingly this is equal to deflecting torque now your question will be why because when the pointer is shifted from 0 to 20 volt the circuit is turned off this particular pointer should get back to its zero position again so how much amount is deflected during the current flow or during the operation it should again come back to its initial position that is in zero position that's why deflecting torque is equal to your controlling torque now what is the expression of this controlling torque tc is equal to c into theta c is the control spring constant this is the control spring constant is given in the question and theta is the angle of deflection means how much the pointer is deflected from its initial zero position clear so we can write now b i n a is equal to c theta now putting the values b is unknown we don't know i we know the value of n that is 200 turns and we know the value of the dimension of the moving coil that is 25 into 25 millimeter and we have to convert it into meter so multiply with 10 to the power minus 6 is equal to c theta c value is 0.475 into 10 to the power minus 6 and theta is equal to 100 degree now what is the value of i see in the question there is a voltmeter with a resistance of 10 ohm and the potential difference that means this kind of potential difference that is given across the voltmeter circuit this is the voltmeter circuit or the voltmeter circuit is equal to 100 millivolt so according to question i is equal to 100 millivolt divided by r that is v equal to ir simple ohms law equation so that we can get i is equal to 10 into 10 to the power 3 ampere or 10 milliampere so we can write in this equation b is equal to 
0.475 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 100 divided by i value is 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by this whole term that is 200 into 25 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 6. So the value of B is equal to 0 0.038 Tesla or Weber per meter square. Now the next part is find also the dimension of copper wire of coil winding if 40% of the instrument resistance is due to coil winding. Now first we need to understand dimension of the copper wire means this coil is made with several copper turns that is in that is 200 turns now as the instrument resistance is given as 10 ohm the 40 percent of instrument resistance is due to copper coil that means the copper coil resistance is equal to 10 into 0.4 or better to write 40 percent 10 by 100 that means 4 ohm so the where on this particular coil has a resistance of 4 ohm now if we assume the length of the copper coil is L and its cross sectional area is A that means if we have a copper coil like this so it has L length and this cross sectional area this red area or this red area is equal to A so we know the equation is using the specific resistance of copper is equal to R equal to rho L by A this is the equation now you have to multiply with N because this is for N turns the total resistance of this copper coil is due to N turns a single coil a single wire has N turns so you have to multiply with it with N total number of turns from here we can write like this now your question will be why the L is equal to 25 plus 25 into 2 like this pattern see if we have the coil like this as shown in green in the diagram here now the windings on it are like like this so the turns are wound on the coil like this pattern so we are seeing this as front view now if we see the top view we can see like this so here this is 25 this is 25 and turns are over it so whenever we are counting a particular turn then we have to consider this portion of the turn again this portion of the turn so this is what 25 25 length and this portion of the turn is again 25 so how many 25s are there this 25 plus 25 and this 25 plus 25 that's why 25 plus 25 into 2 is multiplied in the expression so that we have 4 into 25 just like this 25 into 4 in this expression clear another thing is as this is the length so that we are multiplying it only 10 to the power minus 3 not 10 to the power minus 6 so from here a is equal to 
like this so a is equal to 0.85 into meter square this is the cross sectional area of the conductor now you can determine the value of diameter of the conductor like a is equal to pi d square by 4 where d is your diameter of the conductor so i think the concept is clear to you before ending i ask you a question if ac supply is given to a pmmc instrument will it able to work think and give answer in the comment section below and if you have any doubt then also you can mention in the comment section below thank you